Real quick here this morning, we know a lot of you are in training camp, and uh, we just want to touch on a topic of, you know, you're going through your training camp with passing game concepts. And in the varsity section, first down playbook, as you can see, uh, just in the passing game alone, you've got all these options. But we've got a special area right here uh, for concepts. And uh, <clears throat> one of the things that you have to be careful about in training camp is you're running your plays over and over and over again against your defense. So let's just take a snag concept here. And uh, let's say you're running it out of a, you know, a typical two-by-two two formation, which a lot of you run. You've got the quarterback in the pistol or the gun, and you've got your back offset over here. And you're running a simple snag concept to this side over here. And on the other side, what you're doing is you're just getting a high-low of a really a, a fade ball on top of a hitch, just another version of a smash. I know a lot of people call it different things. But the point is that over here, you're working the snag over and over and over again. Well, the question comes in, do you want to keep working the snag concept? You don't play an opponent for two or three weeks. Uh, the defense is all over it. And, and you know, you start looking at, how do we expand the passing game without uh, putting too much in? And so we just want to suggest that staying inside the concept area <clears throat> and, and allowing yourself to run the same concepts but out of different formations is one way to do it. Now, you'll look on the back side of this, and all you've got is really just your individual post route, and you're doing it off the play action pass, but you still have the same snag concept over here and you've got it really better protected on the front side with the play action pass uh, action going to the strong side. And then another way of doing it would be to get in two back again and just running it out of a, uh, a wide out who has cut split down to two and then it's going to stem release inside. But And then the other thing you're doing over here, and you might even have to offset your H if you're in the gun, um, takes away a little bit of the running game, but if this H can free release, you've got you a curl flat concept on this side and snag on that side. The point we're trying to make is that instead of putting in 90 different concepts, what you can do is work on the same concepts and find ways to run the same concepts out of different formations. You can dress them up with formations, dress them up with motion, dress them up with trades and shifts. And that's one of the things that with First Down Playbook, that very snag concept that we're talking about, if you were to come in the first down playbook, then what you're going to see in this concept area are just different ways of running the snag concept over and over and over again out of different formations. And so we want to just point that out, not as much to talk about uh, the concept area. It is a good area to stay in if you're going to think this way, but more than anything else, just to let you think about the fact that there are a lot of different ways that you can run the same concept and you're not confusing your quarterback. You're keeping your quarterback sharp on the read that you want to uh, teach for the snag while at the same time you're incorporating different formations, different motion shifts, and maybe even diff a different concept on the backside.